Okay, dielectric materials. I used this word in passing earlier. What does it mean? It basically means it's something that can be polarized. So the concept of polarization came up earlier in, um, in this semester. Um, if you have a neutral atom, um, it, it, when it is, if it is unpolarized, and actually not all neutral, at, neutral atoms are unpolarized, um, but I guess atoms are, molecules are not. Most molecules are polarized to some extent. A, so a neutral atom or molecule, something if, it, if the electron cloud is uniformly distributed, um, then you are going, then it is, it's not going to have any net charge. And, you know, if it is neutral, you have the same number of protons inside the nucleus as you have electrons out here. So it's going to, um, it's going to be symmetric and there's no net um, electric force. But you get some charge near something which is neutral and it can be polarized, which basically means that a positive charge is going to suck away the electrons and the electrons are going to be closer to the positive charge. Or if you have a negative charge near your polarizable atom, it's going to push the electrons away. Um, so what you see is that there is a charge asymmetry. Um, that's actually coming from that electron cloud around the um, around the atom or molecule being distorted by the presence of uh, other um, by uh, by the presence of charges. Now, a dielectric material is something that ha is made up of polar molecules, and in the absence of an electric field, these are going to be roughly randomly oriented. So, like this. So you're not going to see a net electric field. But if you put these molecules in the electric field, and they are at least somewhat free to move around, what you're going to see is that they line up with the electric field. So the positive charge is moving in the direction, is closer to the um, higher potential. Um, positive charge side is moving where positive charges want to go, and the negative charge side is moving where negative charges want to go. Um, so that's going to happen if you have one of these dielectric materials in between two charged plates. You're going to see that all of them line up with the electric field. And that is going to lead to a net surplus of positive charge here and negative charge there. So if you're looking at this picture, these guys cancel each other out, these guys cancel each other out, these guys cancel each other out, these guys cancel each other out. But you have more net negative charge up here than you do down there on the two ends. Now, in practice, they're not going to perfectly line up in an electric field. There's fluctuations, but the average alignment is going to be with the electric field, which is going to lead to a net charge distribution. Okay, so then if you are working with a circuit, so let's say you have a capacitor in a vacuum. And you can, there's a whole set of these problems where you look at what happens. So when you add the, a dielectric material, because the dielectric material puts, um, it rearranges itself to, to basically counteract the electric field of the capacitor. It is going to, um, it is going to net, it is going to change the net capacitance. It's going to change the total amount of charge there. So you can do this in two steps. You take a capacitor um, and you charge it up using some voltage source. You disconnect the battery and then you insert a dielectric. Um, it is going to decrease the net effective charge. So if you measure the voltage across the plates, you will see that the, um, the voltage has decreased. Um, and we quantify how much um, it has decreased by this dielectric constant. The dielectric constant is a property of the material itself that has to do with how easy it is to polarize the material. Um, are the positive charges going to move to the negative plate very easily, or is it going to be hard to get them to realign? Okay. So when you do this and you put this dielectric material in between two plates, 
what you're doing is that you're counteracting some of the charges because the material can be um, can be partially polarized.